Well, what I know is, is that the Colonel and Elvis made it a point to co-op writing credits on all the, on the covers. They, you know, if there was a writer had a song they wanted to do, you had to give them half the publishing and which was a standard practice still is in a lot of, a lot of ways. But, uh, Reed, Reed had learned from Chet to never give away your publishing because that's where the big money is, especially back then, you know. And Jerry's holds the record for the amount of cuts Elvis cut. He cut four of Reed's songs, you know. Tupelo, Mississippi Flash, Guitar Man, Thing Called Love, and there was one other one. And uh, Felton Jarvis went in the studio, who was their producer guy. They hired Reed to play parts on Guitar Man because Elvis was completely infatuated with Reed because they were really similar, kind of, you know, Southern boys playing their form of rhythm and blues, really. And uh, he just said, I, we got to we got to get some paperwork going here because uh, Elvis always gets half the song. And Reed just said no. And so Kurt, the colonel supposedly said, well, we these these songs aren't going on the record then. Sorry. And Elvis just stood up and vetoed them the first and I think only time. He got his way on that. He said, no, we're cutting these songs. I love them. Give him his money. You know? So there you have it. 